Welcome to today's episode. I have an amazing oyster board for you guys today. And I have a great guest who's gonna show me how to shuck these oysters. It's gonna be awesome. Let's dive in. Welcome to today's episode. We are going to be doing a oyster board. I have my good friend Carm here. We've been talking about this board for how long now? Uh, I don't know. It feels like the entire pandemic. <laughs> so, if it, yeah, so it took a long time in the making, but it's here. You're going to show me how to shuck an oyster because I love oysters, but I have never actually shucked an oyster before. Wow. Like, so this, we're literally capturing on camera your first time shucking an oyster. Yeah, I'm an oyster virgin in this. So Ooh. this is going to be awesome. <laughs> so be... Never had an oyster virgin before. In shucking. In shucking. Oh, shucking. Okay, got it. But uh, oysters, are, oysters are delicious. I love them. And these ones are from the East Coast. I love that. Okay. Uh, I know when we were talking about this. You're, I was, uh, we were talking about how to do this because I'm like, I was kind of nervous because I don't, I don't you don't shuck oysters. And then you're like, I know. I like. Eat, I actually like eating oysters. Oh my but god, so good. I had a friend of mine that worked at um, our Toronto restaurant. I won't say the name because they're not paying me. But anyway. ah, I like. I like. <laughs> and and I, he bought a box of oysters, and I had him come over, Chef Rudy. Hey, Chef Rudy. <laughs> and uh, he shucked these oysters. So I was so interested in it that I started shucking my own oysters because. Oysters are quite expensive when they, you go to a restaurant. They are. So like, doing this at home is really and it's fun. incredible. And it's fun. And it's, it's fun. A lot like, of fun. It could be like a whole party thing. So when you first did the oyster shucking, were you like nervous about it? Or are you kind of like, I got this, like excited, nervous? No. I, I, I'm always worried about me. I'm worried about like stabbing my hand. Well, like, you know like, I know I use knives all the time. This I'm, instrument is what is an, I don't know what you call it, an oyster shucking It's a shucking knife. A shucking, a shucking knife. knife. Okay. Yeah. And so, I mean, I'm sure if you accidentally dug it in your finger, you'd get hurt. But um, We're not going to do that, though. We're not going to do that, no. <laughs> and it's kind of like a sharp, uh, the edges aren't sharp, so it's okay. really just to get in the yeah. middle. So. So, so it is kind of like, I was doing research on this. Oh, you did two uh, yeah. of them. Okay. Oh, yeah. Robin, I'm going to try this as well. So. Uh-oh. Don't try this at yeah. home, guys. Okay. Not unless you've watched <laughs> this video on how to do it exactly so you're gonna so because that oyster connects to two muscles inside okay. the shell you're gonna Let's see take a look. it you're gonna see inside here so the muscle on the top of you so what this knife is the whole point of a bend is as it pops into the hinge part and you just kind of work your way around it and ah. then that cuts the muscle from the top and that releases the so, oyster. So you've done the instructions. You just oh, haven't. I haven't actually done it. Yeah. Checked the yeah, oyster. Okay, yeah, got it. Read it. I a read lot. about it. Okay. So we're gonna see it, and then of course there's always a difference between reading it and doing it. Yes. So. And well, this is the only shocking oyster video you're gonna ever watch. It's going to get <laughs> 75 million views. Of course, it's gonna go viral. It. It's gonna go that's viral. It. We're gonna go viral. And for everybody, the good reasons, we're not gonna. Everybody share this. Yeah, everybody we, share this. It's gonna go viral for the good reasons. We're not gonna <laughs> shuck our hands on this right. one. Right. So, okay. so let me just ask: yeah. How did you prep all of this other stuff? Ah. Because I know you are a master at. <laughs> I never can say the word charcuterie boards. Charcuterie board. Charcuterie boards. And this is a really nice display. I would have to say, as a matchmaker, if I were a single person uh -huh. and I came to Which I am. your home, and I know you're, he's not going to be single soon, guys. But, <laughs> um, applications, you can come to me, but food, you can go to him. I love the display. I love the colors. Oh, thank um, you. So what had you decide on these things for these oysters? So for the displaying the oysters, I always like to have lots of different colors. And then I use, for especially because I'm using ice that tends to melt and drip, uh -huh. what you want to do is have it caught in something. Yeah, this is a nice so glass. So you could use like a bowl or a flat, like a deep dish. Whatever you want to use is just so that it catches the, the runoff. Or else it's going to have a mess right. everywhere. And then I just plate it accordingly. Like I have done... I got my marble one, which and I use uh, cold foods like we've done, like ice creams, parfaits, yogurts, or even ceviche. On a cold, I, I this like is that. a cold marble this is a, board. I, yeah, so okay. I, what I do is I just kind of keep it in the fridge for a bit, and then I'll take Ooh, it out so it stays I like cold. That. And I then, like and that. then with the marble with the ice, it'll just it'll just stay cold. And then the colors, I love, like so seafood, especially with oysters, very lemony, citrusy. So I like Ooh. what what pairs good with that? So we have. The horseradish, we have some grapes, which are awesome. Avocado and mango, when they're in season, they're phenomenal. You could have probably done limes, too, for a little flavor. I could have done limes, yeah. yeah. I, just, I, think, yeah. I think the okay. limes actually would have been a really good call, yeah. Okay. The opportunity missed on that one. <laughs> well, we uh, also have wine, white oh, wine. So we'll bring that that's in later, bring it back. right? And the, okay, wine, we'll and the wine also, we'll talk about that after, okay. how we pair the wine. Okay. Um, it's not a huge deal. Like you can, Whatever wine you like, but for this one, 
I try to pair it as much as I could. And if you don't know, just ask the guy at the LCBO. Okay. They're, they're good, amazing. Good, they're good. amazing resource information. Amazing. But yeah, so if we're going to get into the, the shucking of the oysters. Oh, before we do that, I just want to talk about these oysters. There's so many oysters that yes. you can go to. And when you go to when you go to the restaurant, they have each oyster has different flavors. And it's just a plethora of tons of oysters. Yes. But basically, there are five different types of oysters. There's And these ones are the East Coast. Don't ask me what the five ones are. I know you're, <laughs> I know, I know you're going to. Uh, okay. But the, totally the West Coast and East Coast. And these ones are East Coast. And you can tell what by the East Coast have a different edge than the West Coast. Okay. Which one is which is I'm not 100% sure. Okay, we're going to have to figure, we're going to have to do another episode uh, of I'm, the five other oysters, Because right? yeah, there's, there's one that's like a really, it's a, it's a Japanese oyster. It's a, it has an amazing, Ooh. amazing flavor. It almost has like a cucumbery kind of flavor to it. And there's, yeah. a, there's a big one that's, um, it has a, a, a briny metallic. Yeah, the, so do you know which ones East Coast or West Coast are more, not fishy. There's there's ones that are saltier and there's ones yeah, that are oh, not as so salty. A, so so basically, basically, basically the, the, an old rule of thumb was is never buy oysters in months that don't end in R. Ah. So like May, June, July, August. You don't we'll want, buy them then. Well, that's what it used to be before. Because okay. basically at the, at the fall is when... Oh, the, December, November. Exactly. Okay, so that's so when are, you, the those, best time for buying yeah, oysters. Yeah, in the fall because they're, they're, they're live. These are live. I have no idea. These are live. So what's going to happen is... I know, I'm going to eat you they, soon. I'm they, so sorry. They go into hibernation. So in the in the fall, they start eating all as much as they can, mm. and they get more plumpier and juicier. Come the spring is when they start going through production, so they start like feeding off, and they give a ton of energy. energy. So they're not as plump, and that's what I'm saying. So, so by the summer comes around, they're pretty much depleted of their energy food source. So we're Canadian. We're having New Brunswick oysters, East Coast. East Coast. These look, if I were to guess, I'm going to say these are like medium. I, because, or they could be small, but I've seen the oysters that are like really yes. small. So I love the size. Yeah, so I think those are more flatter, almost look like a fin. Those are probably the West Coast ones. And then they have more of like a rougher edge. All these right. ones are the, the East Coast ones. And these have a mild brining taste. And so when you are picking oysters like with, any kind of, with any kind of fish, you want it to smell it. Make sure it doesn't smell too sea, too sea, too sea. I think you smell it after you open it. Yeah, but you can right? still smell it. If it has any odor when you get it, don't Trust buy it. Trust me, I'm, not, I'm yeah. not. Oh, any odor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If there's you any, smell good. Yeah, you so, smell odorless, yeah. so that's good. And, and a cool thing that, I, and I, I've never done this, but I heard about this is really cool, but, is that when you buy them, they should have, because there's actually fluid and stuff inside the oyster. So what should you say? So when you tap it together lightly, it should have a thud. If it has a hollow sound, then that's not really good. So no, we're gonna so, we're, so okay. we're gonna do it after just to see difference. Okay. But that's another kind of thing. And these are like these are different like um, wise tales and old myths on how to do it, right? right. So it's gonna be kind of like thing. I will show you eight ways to eat an oyster. Okay. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I'll show you eight ways to eat them. I like that. All right. All right. So, so now I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's shuck and do this. Okay. Let's shuck and do this. I love this. Okay. <laughs> Now, I am by no means an expert, but I have learned many times at home. I've had oysters for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, <laughs> midnight snack, four in the morning. They're amazing. So the good thing is that you have your tea towel. Yes. And it's a great way to grip the actual oyster. Okay. Are you doing this with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All gonna... right. We got the tool here. Okay. Our friendly tool. You got to have a nice yeah. grip on that. And then you okay. have the edge around it so you don't actually know, have any slice nice up. Grip. Yeah. And so now I had the shucking board, so you can either do it by hand or if, because you want to apply pressure, I'm actually going to put it on the table. Okay. okay. And if you see, there is the little a hinge divot, part, yeah. a little divot here, and then you just get in. All right, here we go. And you pop. If it, it oh, there, mine popped already. Oh, nice. Ooh, yeah. there you go. So now that it's popped, as, as Peter mentioned, if you can see this, it's already lifted. And so now all I have to do you, with uh, this, oh, there, there, right that, back, woo, right. there we go. And then you just kind of is run you, around. Is it. you run it around, right? Oh, this is, oh, this is fun. I like it. And this. now it's open. So then you just clean off this. And here. Then, then they say you got to do like a bit of a flip on it, right? I'm not sure, so, but so now at the, so at, the smell. at the bottom, oh, there's still, there's still, like there's, still okay, a mouth. So then you just do this. Yes, yeah, so you want to flip it around. Yeah, so so flip it. Oh my God, that juice is are all over the place. This looks incredible. I cannot wait oh, to eat it. Use a, use a tea all right. I, I didn't use a tea towel on that one. I almost, ah. forgot, I almost sliced my hand on that one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can't even see your oyster. So That's let me okay. try that I again. I know first date. I know first okay. date. Let's try that again. I'm going to do it I'm still working on my first one. You're flying with this. Oh, see? 
that probably doesn't look that nice that I'm doing it. You're still on your first one? I am, I know. And that's what a virgin oyster is. I know. <laughs> I'm not, they're not okay. done fast, though. <laughs> yeah, they're not meant to be fast. You have to really find the... And again, I'm not the expert here, so... Okay. Oh, no, I got it. I got it. And then you just want to kind of go around. Yeah, you can oh, go and around you can it. Feel, I can feel like the muscle underneath it. And then just kind of slice it. Yeah. Sometimes I think I'm, I think I'm butchering the... this one. This one's not look as pretty as yours. <gasps> I'm not going to lie. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm destroying this oyster. Are you? Okay. Okay. You can eat your own oysters. Then. I'm not going to lie. This one. <laughs> okay. But you know what? So you there know, you go. It's like, it just it doesn't look pretty, but it's going to taste amazing. It's going right. to taste amazing, yeah. Okay, so so some... really, the trick on it, so when you take a look, it's all, when you pop it, yeah. the actual thing comes right off, right? So and so back to what you were saying is you want to take the knife, you're going to open up, you're going to open up this oyster, you basically take the top off. Oh, look at that. Take the top off, and as you, let, let me give it a smell. Hold on. Smells like nothing, which is great. Which is you know you what? These don't smell uh, briny or salty, actually. No. Uh, oh, my God. These are going to be amazing. Okay, we'll do and one, then you do one more. Wanna, okay. And then we'll, then we'll dress one it up. One more, and we'll dress up these. Perfect. I'll maybe do five in the time that you take one more. So. Deal. <laughs> okay. It's not a race car. No, but I know. But I know. But, but I'm you, a bit of a perfectionist. But you are winning. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so are you going right. from the back end? Like, okay, because see how it's kind of like this? Now, do yes. we, see how it's kind of, a, it's kind of uh, bowled up on top and flat yes. at the bottom? The flat part is obviously going to be the bottom, correct? I, is how, is how I actually don't have the answer to that question. To be how, honest so how, how are you holding it though? Are you holding the flat side up? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, you open it this okay, way. Okay. All right. Were you doing it the other way? I was, yes. That's why you're having such a All hard right. time with it. Now, these oyster shucking people, they, they do it so fast. Oh, and if you find any pearls or anything, these have pearls, right? I don't know. These I don't know pearls? if these oh, have pearls. Have, do, no. do Newfoundland, do Newfoundland that, oysters have, have pearls? pearls? I just kind of like... I'm gonna get like kind of flack on this one because I don't remember if it's what has a pearl or not. Yeah. Cla clams. Clams have pearls. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yes. I don't. Yeah. No oysters have. Do they? Not clams. There's a. Okay, we're not National There's... Geographic, so. I'm not gonna lie. You know what? Yeah, I I just eat the oysters. I don't really like, and I serve the oysters because they're awesome. They taste so good. Mm -hmm. All right, so I finally got it open, and you know what? I have a ton of respect for people that do this all the time because this this <laughs> this is. It's so much fun. I'm, I'm loving it, and I know I'm going to get better, but the people that do this all the time and they're so fluid with it, I, I, have I, to say, I love it. it. It requires patience, and I think this is an incredible date night. Oh, my God. It's going to be amazing. It's an yeah. incredible date night because you're working hard for your meal. Yes. This is considered a delicacy. A lot of people love oysters, and in fact... You can get super creative with all of the garnish. You can 100%, use yeah. the seafood seafood sauce. I've seen the onion and and uh, vinegar. Oh, yeah, that's a good on, one. That's onion a... and vinegar. Um, what else have I seen? I like the sriracha. So you guys, oh, so, so we, have, we, have, we, have a, we have the hot, hot sauce, sauce here. It's, we're using traditional hot sauce. Uh, we did the Tabasco one, but realistically, you can use any hot sauce that you want. I, I did this one because it's the first time that we're actually going to be kind of going just really old school on this. Simple. And we're just gonna have it with a sriracha, a horseradish, because I love. Do you like horseradish? I love horseradish. Oh, good, yes. yeah, horseradish is a nice. It's a nice, super strong flavor. So good, and then we're gonna pair it with some nice fruit. I so once it. Carm's done that one, I'm I gonna finish cutting up the avocado here. The thing about the thing about which tricky, which I think people need an eye for. There is a little space right here where you're supposed to dig that and pop it, right? Yeah. But in some cases, it's hard to find that space. And so I kind of cheat and I look for the oysters that I can completely see that. So how do you- So where uh, to put it? Oh, Otherwise, the other ones, I'm just gonna be like, okay, let my date <laughs> do that part. See, cause it's breaking apart here. Whew. Yeah, and sometimes they will kind of like, depending on the edges, if they're kind of thin, they will kind of tend to little crumble a bit so you want to have like a, like a garbage bin just kind of keep the keep your workspace clean yes you never want to see a kitchen that i've worked in <laughs> never <laughs> i'll tell you that right now i'll be like dinner's ready just don't go in the kitchen. <laughs> you know what? it's just I, it's the same way all my just kind of prepping and stuff and how you do it but at the end of the result at the end of the day the result is going to be phenomenal food it's going to taste good the date's oh. going to be happy See, that looks Look good. at that. that looks I'm good. just. Nice little flip on that one. Okay, I forgot. We have to smell them. That's why, you know what? Well, I'm sure if you see okay. the oysters, the guys are going 
And then they just do a, a bunch. All right, so this is wonderful. So now that that's pretty much done, so we're gonna have, now we're this. gonna dress it the way we want. This would impress me, folks. I'll I'm take that. I'm impressed with myself. Thank you. I'm impressed with <laughs> you, Peter. That's amazing, thank you for showing me how to do, because this is like, this is. How many did you do? You did two. I did half. Oh, nobody, I can tell nobody, the half you did. <laughs> yeah, nobody be whining and count. Nobody be whining and count, but I did half. Amazing. But now and I think the trick to that is to kind of try to keep the fluids inside too, right? Yeah, because, because you that's want where all the, the, the juice and the, the stuff. The juice and you, you shuck it back. That's the whole uh, point of like shucking it. And that's what you, you, you were saying earlier about how sometimes they taste different, briny or so, or, yes. or So what happens is the oyster actually you absorbs. You can keep talking and I'm going to okay. keep shucking. Okay? Sounds Talk good. About that. So the oyster will absorb, kind of eat what's around it. So if it's in an area that has more salt or whatever, then it'll, it actually will how pick up. How do oysters up. eat? Like, how I the have heck no do one, I have no idea. I think it's, I have no idea. Wait, wait, wait <laughs> it's to put me osmosis. On Way to put me on the spot on that one. <laughs> it's, uh, it's osmosis. Um, but they absorb, yeah, they absorb all the nutrients around them and they absorb the flavors of that. Incredible. So that's why, that's why they, with the five different oysters that you have, they can have so many different flavors and taste. I love that. So now I'm just going to finish cutting up the avocado because that is an amazing pairing with this. I love it. Can we tell how much I'm struggling? Ah, <laughs> uh, see, see. <laughs> it's not uh, always that easy. Sometimes, but the, you know, it's so worth it. Sometimes it's the key so is to delegate. It. It's to delegate. Then <laughs> it's great. Even when you don't know, you, you know, just have to bring someone on board that knows how to do it. Exactly. All right. So All right. what are we doing? So now we're gonna eat them. We're gonna eat them. Okay. So yeah. why don't you garnish All a right. couple? So I'm gonna take one for you, one for me. All right. Ooh, so good. Okay. I'm gonna put a bit of Tabasco sauce. I love this. Yeah, and apparently uh, these oysters, or any oysters, there's, they're an aphrodisiac. I heard that, I was gonna ask you about yes. that because... I'm going to a kid's party later, so I'm not really <laughs> sure that I should be consuming these. Within, However... Within reason. Yeah. But there we go, All right. there's yours. So I'm gonna do a little bit of lemon as well. Yes, ditto as well. Okay. Ooh. Yummy, yummy. Should we, should we cheers? Of course. Oyster? Cheers. All right. And is there a trick to, you just. And one, one shot. Shock it back. One shot. Mm. Oh, that's oh. good. That's so good. That is good. Apparently oh. the, the, um, oh. the etiquette after you eat your oyster is you put. Oh, that's neat. shell down. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Good. So when the shells are down, servers come back. And, and then just more. keep bringing. Just keep. Just so keep. now I'm gonna pour some wine to pair this because one love thing that's it. always okay. really good with this is some nice wine. I like a generous portion Deal. of horseradish. I'll, I'll I'll make your next okay, one. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. So here we have a nice cold, chilled white wine. It's a Pinot Grigio. It goes love great it. with seafood. It goes great with really citrusy leaf, uh, citrusy leaf seafood. I don't know why I can't say that. Citrusy seafood. Yeah, it's just a nice pairing. Wonderful. I love this. That's the icing on top of this incredible date night dish. And this is a, yeah, this is a perfect date oh, night. This looks incredible. That's for you. I'll take that All one. right. So let's do this together and then we'll drink our wine. I feel so spoiled right now. Peter. Perfect. This Cheers. Is great. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Mm. Um, shell down. That was a big one. Wow. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that's good. So good. Cheers. So good. Thank you so much for coming because this has been an amazing tutorial and we had a lot of fun. And we. I know, and there's and a whole box of these. Oh, we're going to keep going. That we're going to keep going yeah, on. We're going to keep going on. Keep going on that. <laughs> now, to recap, what's on this amazing board? We have East Coast oysters, we have lemons, we have grapes, we have horseradish, some nice crostini bread, mangoes, avocados. And my good friend, Carm, thank you so much for being here today. It thank was awesome. Thank you. And we have our white wine. And our white wine, Pinot Grigio. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. See you next time. If you have any questions or suggestions, reach out to me on Instagram or YouTube. If you live in the GTA or surrounding areas and you want me to cater your events, reach out to me and let's chat. And if you'd like a take-home charcuterie board, go to my website or Instagram and you can order it from there. Cheers.